Good evening, my name is Pearl Akanyo for you. Welcome to today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. In the news this evening, after the long wait, the much anticipated oral examination of embattled businessman Alfred Agbeshiwemi has started. We have the details of that story. The oral examination of embattled businessman Alfred Agbeshi Woyome today started at Ghana's Apex Court. Mr. Woyome initiated several legal attempts to stop the process, but the court recently threw out his applications and ordered for the process to start. Well, during today's examination by Deputy Attorney General Godfrey Dame, Mr. Woyome told the court he feels persecuted by the state, even though he has plans to pay back the money to the state. He says the Attorney General's decision to drag him before the Supreme Court for an oral examination was needless. City News Daily's Sixtus Don Ulu has chronicled a development of the story in the following report. On June 22, 2014, the Supreme Court ordered the state to retrieve over 51 million Ghana cities it paid to businessman Alfred Agbeshi Woyome in a memorable decision which became a mantra for the then opposition New Patriotic Party. The court said the payments were made to the businessman under a scheme to create loot and share state resources. Mr. Woyome subsequently entered into a payment agreement with the state, which payments were stalled. Pressure from civil society and other interest groups subsequently compelled the then Attorney General, Marietta Brew Apiaopong, to initiate processes for the retrieval of the monies. The processes were, however, discontinued, moving a former Attorney General, Martin Amidu, to apply to the Supreme Court for leave to orally examine the businessman. On November 16, 2016, the Supreme Court granted Martin Amidu's request to orally examine Alfred Agbashi Woyome on November 24, 2016. In arriving at this decision, the court noted that no serious effort was being made by the appropriate institutions to retrieve the money, even though the amount was colossal. Following the change in government administration from the National Democratic Congress to the new Patriotic Party, Martin Amidu discontinued his efforts to orally examine the businessman. In doing so, Mr. Amidu said he was confident that the new administration would vigorously pursue the money. True to these convictions, the Attorney General's Department in June 2017 initiated processes to orally examine the businessman. In its application, the department said it would examine the means and capacity of Mr. Woyome to repay the money and also seek to place a charge on some shares and properties of Mr. Woyome until such time that he is able to repay the over 51 million Ghana City judgment debt. For City News Daily, I am Sixtus. Now, Ghana's former power minister, Dr. Kwabna Donko, had his home subjected to a thorough search by some personnel from the Criminal Investigations Department of the Ghana Police Service. He says the officers informed him that they were at his residence to retrieve documentation on the controversial Ameri Par deal. While the John Mahama administration in 2015 agreed to rent 300 megawatts of emergency power from Ameri at the peak of the country's power crisis. The decision was taken when Mr. Donko was Ghana's power minister. Now speaking to City News Daily, the former minister said the two-hour raid was conducted after a search warrant from a circuit court implicating him for causing financial loss to the state was provided. Now today, more than 30 people were injured after a space van. They were traveling on veered of the road and fell into a huge ditch near the Kwame Nkrumah Circle. The vehicle, which was carrying about 50 passengers, more than the stipulated number it should carry, was traveling from the Odoko Kaneshi route to Circle. Now, eyewitnesses had to break the windscreen of the bus to rescue the trapped passengers. 
When City News Daily visited the scene, one of the eyewitnesses said the incident happened around 7.45 a.m. after the driver had dropped off a passenger at a bus stop near the State Transport Corporation. Today marks exactly five years since the passing of Ghana's former president, John Evans Atamios. Now, years after his death, his only surviving son, Sam Atamios, says he's yet to see his father's autopsy report. This is in sharp contrast to earlier statements by the late president's brother, Kadman Mills, who said the family had seen the report. Speaking at the five-year commemoration of the president's death today, Mr. Atamio said he would support a probe into the cause of his father's death. Now, the anniversary was marked by a wreath-laying ceremony at the Asumjue Park in Accra. Meanwhile, a memorial lecture at the Atamio's Law Faculty at the Ghana Institute of Management and Professional Studies is expected to be delivered on Thursday by the former UK House of Lords member, Paul Boatin. Now, patrons of the maiden edition of City FM's holiday trip to Mauritius and Johannesburg dubbed the Big July Getaway have arrived in Mauritius to begin a four-day exciting tour experience. Now, the 40 participants uh, left Ghana on Sunday. Now, while in Mauritius and South Africa, they'll visit some amazing tourist sites. Now, patrons of the Big July Getaway will return to Ghana on July 30. That does it for today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pierre Lacanyofoy. Thanks so much for watching. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1243-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.